Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to explore two different ways of creating high quality product photos. First, using Photoshop manually, and then using AI tools. Which method is faster, easier, and better? Let's find out. So, let's dive right in and start with Photoshop. Okay, I'm inside Photoshop right now. Let's create a new document. I'm going with a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas. Now, let's bring in our product image. I'm using a sample product. Let's isolate the product from the background. I'll quickly select the product using the Select Subject tool. But as you can see, it didn't do a perfect job. There are a few rough edges. So for precision selection, I'm going to use the Pen tool. Now I'll fast forward a little here because this part can take time. But what I'm doing is manually tracing around the product to get a very clean edge. Once the selection is complete, I'll right-click and choose Make Selection. Now, I'll copy the selected product and paste it into our newly created canvas. Next, let's add a background. I've selected a suitable bathroom background image. Copy and paste it in. Then, drag the layer below the product layer. Now let's make this product sit on a marble table surface. I've already downloaded a marble texture. Using the elliptical marquee tool, I'll draw a perfect circle to act as a round tabletop. Now I'll paste it into our canvas, scale it down, and position it. Here, I'm adjusting the perspective to match the product. The table should be slightly flat, not too angled. Now, our basic composition is done but it looks flat and fake. Look closely. The light on the product is coming from the left direction, but in the background image, light is coming from the right. You might think we can just flip the product to match the light direction, but that would also flip the label text. So instead, I'll flip the background horizontally and now both lighting matches. To add some depth of field, let's blur the background. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and set the blur value to around 15. Now, if the product is in focus, the table behind it should also have some blur. So, let's go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift. Tilt Shift Blur creates a gradual blur effect based on distance. Once you are happy with Tilt Shift Blur, click OK. All right, now time to add the shadow. First, I'll create a contact shadow. That's the darkest part of the shadow right where the object touches the surface. I'll make a new layer, take the elliptical marquee tool, draw a circle, and fill it with black color using the paint bucket tool. Then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur to soften the edges. Let's rename the layer Quickie. I'll also duplicate the shadow layer and keep one as a backup for future. Now place the shadow under the product. That gives the illusion the product is actually touching the marble table. To soften the edges horizontally, I will apply Motion Blur to the shadow. Set the angle to zero and adjust the distance to soften just the sides of the shadow. Now, let's create a soft cast shadow. I will use the duplicated black circle that we have created for contact shadow. I will duplicate this layer one more time for the backup. Transform and stretch it to fit the perspective. Then again apply Motion Blur, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. I will increase the blur distance so that the side edges gradually blurs out even more. Let's place the shadow under the product, and then using Free Transform, I distort and shift the shadow slightly to the right behind since our light source is coming from the left. Decrease the opacity, because we want this soft shadow to be very subtle, just enough to give depth. Next, we'll create a visible drop shadow on the ground. Use the same black circle backup layer again. We will repeat the same process. Position, motion blur, change the little bit angle this time for a more natural fall off. If shadow looks too harsh, add Gaussian blur to smooth it out. And now, Remove any excess shadow on the left side of the product using the Eraser tool. 
because the light source is from the left side. Now if you look closely, you will see that unwanted white reflection at the base. That's from the original background. Let's clean it up. Select the product layer, add a levels adjustment layer, clip it, reduce the white output, then invert the mask. Now take a brush tool and paint only where needed. That removes the unrealistic highlights. Last but not least, let's create a reflection to add polish and realism. Select the product layer, duplicate it. I'm going to rename the layers very quickly. And with the free transform tool active, flip it vertically. Use warp option to match base perspective. Now set the blending mode to overlay. As you can see, our reflection looks too sharp. Apply a slight tilt shift blur to fade it naturally according to distance. Our product photo is almost ready. You can add more shadows, adjust reflections, or tweak colors as needed. Once satisfied, create a new top layer and merge all visible layers into it using Control shift alt e Finally, I use Camera Raw Filter to apply some color correction and lighting adjustments for the final professional touch. So that's the Photoshop method to create a product image. It took me around 18 minutes in real time, but I speed up most of the parts so you wouldn't get bored. It's a bit time consuming, hard to find the stock image, but gives you full control and detailed editing. Now, let's see how AI handles this. I tested a few AI tools, and the one I really like is called X-Design. It's a complete AI-based product photo creator. Let's head over to X-Design. Once you're logged in, you'll land on the X-Design dashboard. Right here, you'll see two main options, Photo Editor and Designer. First, let's go with the Photo Editor. Click Upload and select your product photo. You can choose any picture of your product. There is no need for professional photography or a studio. Just pictures taken with your phone will work. All right, once the image is uploaded, the next step is to remove the background. Simply click on Remove Background option on the left panel. Look at that. In just one click, the background is removed very precisely. Now that we have our product on a transparent canvas, let's add a stunning background to bring it to life. Just head over to the Background Generator. Here you'll find three ways to add a background using AI. Presets. This is the easiest option. You get access to a variety of pre-designed AI background styles. Clone. This option lets you upload your own reference image, and XDesign will analyze and generate a similar AI background. Custom. This one is for creatives. Type in a text prompt, and the AI will generate a background that matches that description. For now, let's try Presets option. Here I'm selecting a minimal background with natural light to keep it clean and product focused. Now just click Generate. Within seconds, your product is placed in a beautifully crafted AI background. Take a look at the light direction, reflections, and shadows are perfectly matched with your original product image. X-Design gives you four background variations to choose from, so you can pick the one that best matches your product vibe or brand style. Want to resize or move your product? No problem, just hover over the product, select it, and drag or resize to get the perfect framing. And this time, let's try a different background. Look at that! In just one click, we've got a completely new scene, again with perfect shadows, lighting, and depth. Once you're happy with the background, it's time to add some finishing touches. Click on the Retouch tab. Here you'll find several filter options to enhance the mood of your image. I'm going to choose the Texture filter. It adds a rich, moody tone that makes the product pop. Now, let's say your product photo is ready and you want to turn it into a promotional poster, banner, or social media ad. Just click on Go to Designer. This opens up the design interface. Here, you can either use a ready-made template or start from scratch. Add text, shapes, price tags, brand elements, or more product images. 
You can also change colors, align objects, and bring your creative vision to life. Once you're satisfied with your design, just click Download, and your poster is ready to use. So that's how you can create stunning, professional product photos and promotional graphics in just minutes. Here's a quick comparison. Photoshop took around 18 minutes with a lot of manual work, but gave me very precise control. X-Design with AI took less than a minute, super easy, and the output looks very professional. If you're a beginner or short on time, I definitely recommend trying X-Design's AI tool for your product photos.